What's up guys, Questlow here, and today um, we're going to be doing an introduction to Unity. Uh, we're going to cover everything in the software, how uh, what everything is, and stuff like that. So first things first, uh, you're going to want to go to your, uh, your internet browser, whatever one that is, Safari, uh, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever, whatever your favorite browser is. Uh, open it up, go to Google or Bing. I don't know why you're using Bing, but or DuckDuckGo, whatever your favorite uh, search engine is. And we're just gonna we're gonna just search Unity 3D. And just search this up. Go down to here. Don't worry about the advertisement link. We're just gonna be doing this one, even though it goes to the probably the same place. Um, we're just gonna do uh, this one. And then so it's gonna pop up this nice little screen, and we're gonna click get started. And it's gonna bring you to this page. You're probably not a team, so you're gonna go individual. If you're a student. You could totally get the student version. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys are students, so I'm going to take a guess that the majority of you are not a student. <clears throat> so we're going with the personal version. Um, if you're making over 100 k a year on making video games, you probably already know how to use Unity. And if you're switching engines you, and you make over 100 k a year in video, in video game development, you're probably going to need one of these ones. I don't know how many of you guys actually fall into this category of making revenue or funding of 100k plus a year off of making video games, but I would take a guess that you probably know how to use Unity if that's the case, and you have really no reason to be watching this video other than to like the video and leave a comment and be a great guy. All right, or girl, whatever you are. Okay, um, so we're going to click the personal version. <clears throat> on here we're gonna click get started and it's gonna bring us to this nice little screen now if you have used unity before and you're just reinstalling it on your computer and you don't know what to do you can click the returning uh, users and it will take you to just the basic install unity hub page otherwise um, we'll click for first time users get started here it's going to say uh, you have to agree to the terms. You haven't raised 100K funds. You're not currently using Unity Plus or Pro. You're probably not using Unity Plus or Pro if you're on this page. Uh, and you've acknowledged whatever this is. Okay? Uh, you can read this if you'd like. I suggest you maybe read it and maybe take a look at the stuff. But no one reads this stuff. So I guess just click agree and download. And it's going to give you this Unity Hub setup. I'm going to cancel it. I was going to cancel that because I already have Unity Hub installed. It's going to pop up with this nice little page uh, to install the screen. Just click Next and Next until it's installed. I already have Unity Hub installed, so we're just going to open it up. So once you've installed Unity Hub, um, it's going to pop up a nice little screen probably after you're done installing it. And it's going to look something like this. Um, or you're gonna end up on this page or something along those lines uh, unity actually has plenty of tutorials to uh, How to use their engine and how to make games like this Lego mini game These are all for beginners and this is great if you're getting started um, I'm probably gonna end up doing some tutorials of my own for uh, some beginner content um, Keep an eye out for that if you want to uh, if you don't want to miss that do subscribe uh, And you won't miss any future content. So yeah uh, you have a community tab here for whatever, um, and installs. We're going to add an installation here, and we're going to add the most recent version, which is, I think, this one. So here is the most recent version. That's a beta. If you want to do the beta, you totally could. But, yeah, we're going to just do the most recent version. If you want to do the long-term support version, which uh, is the 2019.4.19f1, you can totally do this version. Um, it, it really shouldn't make much of a difference. We're going to click Next. Um, it's going to have this stuff here. Uh, if it, it's asking if you want like the build support, right? And if you already have Visual Studio installed, if you've been watching my C Sharp, How to Code in C Sharp tutorial series, you already have Visual Studio installed. You don't need to install this. This is not necessary because I already have this installed. Um, now... If you want the documentation, you can get it. I believe the documentation is on online too, so you probably don't need this. Um, yeah, so 
you can add what what kind of build support you want. If you want Linux build support, Mac build support, um, they have TVOS. I don't know why you'd be making a game for TVOS, but you can make a game for TVOS if you want to have TV TVOS build support, iOS build support, Android build support. This is probably another big kind of build support thing. Um, I think uh, and Web WebGL uh, if you want to make web games. So yeah. Um, Depending on what you want to do, uh, you can totally just have this stuff here. I'm going to do WebGL, and we're going to click Done. And it's going to say, say Yes, and you're going to click Yes. And I'm going to get rid of this in 2018 version because I don't need this anymore. So we're going to just delete this. Uh, uninstall that. And it's going to do a thing. And this is going to install. This might take a little bit. It might take like 30 minutes or 40 minutes or however. Depends on how fast your internet is and how fast your computer is. So if your internet's pretty slow, this might take a while if it's fast. And you have good internet it, it shouldn't take too long um but i'm gonna cut until uh until this is done so yeah all right so i uh just finished installing i didn't really take that long it took probably about five minutes to install and now it's all installed so we can go ahead and click on this uh actually no we can go up up here and uh, start a project so we're gonna click new and we're gonna we're gonna call this uh some random name uh to project just like that we're gonna do it in 3d because uh i think it's pretty easy to start in 3d you could also do 2d but since this is just a basic tutorial on uh unity um this is what we're going so yeah we're gonna click create and it's gonna do a little thing and it's gonna pop up with this nice pretty screen here and you gotta wait for this to load because it's gonna do some like template stuff or whatever and uh yeah let's just sit here and wait actually i'm gonna cut again so that way you don't sit here and wait make this video a lot shorter all right so here we are with unity um this is probably what uh when you start up unity for the first time this is probably what your layout's gonna look like cool thing is about unity and a lot of software these days you can drag and kind of drop everything where you want it so if you want to put the console here you can put it here if you want to put it over here and this goes for anything on the screen here so if you want to move stuff around so i personally like my console right here next to the content manager um or the project manager here uh, you can move the game view if you want to move it like under here. Just kind of do whatever's comfortable. And you could totally save your layout too. So when you're like done customizing your screen here, you can uh, you can save it. So yeah, and you can just click save layout. And we're going to name this my layout saved. And now you can change them from up here or you can change them from up here. Anyway, so this is the basic screen. We're going to first start off with each of these little uh, boxes here. This is your hierarchy. So this is where everything that is in the uh, in your scene is. So right now in this pretty much empty scene is we have a directional light and we have a main camera. These are probably what you're going to start out with in any kind of blank scene is you're going to start out with these two items is a directional light and a camera i'm not sure if in a 2d layout if you have this but 3d you do um yeah so that's the hierarchy you could change you can click on these objects and things will pop up here on the inspector and you can configure their settings and stuff like that here add components and stuff like that so we'll get to components here in a little bit but yeah um that's pretty much what that is um here is your project area. So this is essentially a project content, uh, I guess, manager file system thing. I don't know what to call it. Um, so essentially, when you add folders, so let's say I want to add a folder for scripts, right? We're going to add a folder for scripts. We have a folder for, uh, for scripts here now. Uh, we'll have one for, oh, I don't know, um, textures, right? We want to add one for maybe materials, Right, and all this stuff here, these are various different folders that you may or may not have in your project. And I'm sure as you're working on your project, you're probably gonna end up adding more and more folders. This might look a little bit more complicated than what it is, and some of these folders may have subfolders. Like for example, you have stuff related to, I don't know, for example, you have a folder related to weapon scripts. So you have weapons, right? Um, I think I spelled weapons wrong. Uh, I forget how to spell weapons. We're gonna just go with my terrible spelling skills weapons uh you may have another folder for you know uh, i don't know characters right character scripts so like you know we'll have care uh character characters right uh character scripts 
And you might be able to, you might have to subdivide these even more. I might actually delete these because this project is not going to have either of those things. So yeah, we're going to just delete those. Um, yeah, so you'll have various different scripts and stuff like that and various different um, folders to house your uh, various different assets that you're importing into your project. So you may have textures. This is where all your images and stuff will go, your sprites, whatever it may be. And if you're working in a 3D game, you will probably have to make those textures into materials and then use those materials on your assets, right? So yeah. Um, and there's also favorites. So you can add favorites of things and they're all here as well. Um, you can also go into the Unity stuff because Unity also has its own stuff here that you can poke around into. I'm not sure if you really want to do that, but they also have these packages here as well. So anyway, this is the console. So um, the console will basically, let's let's make a basic uh, script here. We're gonna just do uh, a very basic uh, scripts, just outputting to the console. We'll quickly create a quick C sharp script. We're gonna put output to console. That's what we're gonna call it. Pretty awful name. Um, very descriptive. And we're gonna open this up and uh, as soon as this loads there all right we're gonna open this up and we're gonna just do basic debug.log we're gonna debug.log into the thing debug.log this is some code just like that uh, and the void update it's called once per frame so we're gonna have it like pop up a whole bunch in the console and here we go It should be. Oh, I forgot. I need to set it on an item. My bad. Uh, we're going to just set it on the main camera. My bad. You have to add a component, so we're going to add this nice little script component, and we're going to just do that. And now it's going to debug.log, and it, this is the console is going to be filled with this. The console will not only be filled with debug.log things if we need to do some debugging. It will also be filled with errors and warnings and such that are going on. Okay, this console is going crazy now. So yeah, that's what um, that's what debug uh, log does, and that's also what the console is used for is to output certain things. Uh, if you have errors or exceptions and stuff like that, this is where it's going to pop up, and this is where you can check in the code where it's coming from. And uh, yeah, pretty useful. Anyway, so on to the inspector. So the inspector, this is where it shows all of the different components on each of your objects. So let's add an object to the screen. We're going to add a 3D object, and we're going to add a cube. And here's our nice little cube. We are going to also add a plane. And um, we'll quickly add a plane here. Um, another 3D object plane. And we're going to make this plane really big. We're going to make it like 10 by 10. We're going to increase the scale here. And we're going to zero it out. Big plane. Zero. Zero. And zero. All right, look at that. So here's a nice little plane. Uh, planes are actually kind of 2D, so you can see through them from the bottom, but they're solid on the top. Anyway, uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, anyway, so this is uh, an, yeah, so this is essentially um, what the inspector is. So the inspector has a whole bunch of different options and stuff like that here that your your object may have. So like the position, like the transform, the position, rotation, and the scale of the object, how big the object is, stuff like that. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, the mesh, what is the mesh? So they have a mesh here and the mesh render um, to render the mesh and also uh, make the mesh. Um, you have a box collider, so that way this thing has collision. So that way it doesn't like fall through the floor, or that way when if you're a player, you you know, when you run into it, it'll stop you. Um, so yeah, that's what uh that's what this stuff is. Uh, it basically um, is to show what your uh, what your asset has and stuff like that. You can also add components. So let's say I want to add a rigid body. Um, as you use Unity, you'll you'll begin to know what this stuff is. So we're gonna add a rigid body to this. We're gonna make uh, its mass like 10, and uh, it's gonna be affected by gravity. And now when we put this cube in front of the camera, we'll make it sure it's in front of the camera. It should just fall. So now when we play, it's just gonna fall to the ground. Look at that. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's what this is for. You can also add like sound components and there's like a lot here. So there and uh, also when you add scripts to things. So let's say we want to add our script here. We can add our script here to this box and now it will uh, essentially output to the console now. 
with our nice little script attached. So you would attach scripts to your objects here in the inspector. And uh, yeah, uh, also if you wanna lock something in the inspector, so you wanna specifically just keep looking at this thing here and you wanna keep on editing stuff on here, but you wanna click on other things and move them around, but you're still working on the details of this object, for example, you could totally do that here. So you could lock it or unlock it. So that way when you click on other things, they'll, out, they'll show their stuff in the inspector. So yeah. Um, up here is your basic um, tools. So your various tools for like rotation. So I want to rotate the camera. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but if you want to rotate your objects, you can do that here. Um, I scale. So if you want to make it wide, you want to make your cube wide and tall, you can do that. Um, you also have some other things here for like UI. So this also can kind of adjust the scale of your object as well. But these typically would be done for UI. So if you're making like a UI on your screen, you want to make the size bigger, you can do that here. Um, they're all just various different. This is kind of like a, a multiple kind of tool thing. So if you want to not only move your object, but also rotate it and make it big or small, you can do that there. Um, and this is a selection tool for editing colliders and stuff like that. So yeah, um, and this is the move tool. So the various different tools. If you ever worked in a 3D modeling software, these will look very familiar to you. Um, yeah, so that's your various tools. If you wanna move stuff around the scene and you can kind of move these, move things around and adjust how you want it to look and uh, stuff like that. So if we make this a little bit wider, just like that, perfect. All right, so that's those. Now up at the top of your screen here, you're gonna have some various different uh, tabs here that have uh, different things. So your file is to save, so I just saved the project now. You can also do Control S to save your project. Um, you have the edit stuff, so if you wanna, you know, uh, I would suggest uh, maybe memorizing some of these commands here, some of these uh, shortcuts, because they are very useful and they'll definitely increase your workflow in Unity. Uh, always remember the shortcuts, just like many other softwares, you're gonna wanna uh, remember the shortcuts, so that way, or at least some of them. Uh, some of them are fairly obvious, like Control Z, um, Control C or V, um, Control X for cutting. Uh, a lot of these are very simple and you should be able to figure them out pretty easily. Uh, assets, so this is where you can add assets into your, uh, your, scene, uh, your scene and or your project, um, depending on what you're wanting to create. Um, you can also uh, import assets here, import packages of assets, export packages, all sorts of stuff, uh, re-importing all your assets, um, opening a C-sharp project. There's a lot of different options here based on your assets. Uh, this is all for creating new assets into the game. Uh, here is your game object. So this is how you put in objects. So many of these are uh, categorized under tabs. So like here are your 3D objects, uh, your 2D objects are here your effects, your lights. So if I wanted to put a point light behind um, this nice little thing here, we can add a point light to the scene. Um, so we'll do that. We'll quickly add a point light behind my nice little, um, my nice little uh, cube here that's gonna probably end up falling to the ground because it has a rigid body. But we can add a point light just like that. Now there's a point light behind it. Uh, look at that. Now the, the ground is being lit up. Cool. Um, yeah, so you have various different objects here. UI, so if you're making a menu system, this is where you most your this is where all your stuff would be. Video um, and camera. So yeah, uh, here's some components. So if you need to add components to your uh, your stuff, this is this is what it would be. Uh, like you can also do this stuff here if you want to add it here. Um, I don't I don't really use this very often, if at all. I'm mainly adding components this way faster than moving my mouse all the way up here when the options right here there's multiple ways of do doing things um here's your window this is where you can optimize your layout and how you want your stuff to look uh yeah so that's that um on another note you can also right click on here and add components this way so i want to add a sphere now i added my sphere and here's my ball this is my nice little my sphere uh go check out the amazingball.com and go uh, check out the development updates uh, I release development up, development updates every so often for my game. Go check it out. Um, it should be up on Steam here soon with a, a page, so keep track of that. Keep on checking my website. I'll let you know. It'll let you know as soon as it is on Steam. You'll know. All right. Anyway, um, 
So yeah, I think this video has kind of gone on quite a while. Um, I will be doing another tutorial on uh, another introduction, an introductory to all the different things in Unity. Uh, but this gets you started. So if you guys like the video, leave a like, comment if you have anything to say. Um, subscribe for more Unity content, more coding content, more just game development content in general. Um, there's plenty of content coming out soon. I post every Tuesday and Thursday. So I don't I don't have any video formally saying what my upload schedule is, but I my upload schedule is, is right now Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I don't have a consistent upload time, so just kind of check on those days. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video.